Only you can hear people screaming and dying and crying for help. No one else seems to be noticing. Only it's worse than wartime, because during the war the people are united in a shared experience. This war has not united us, it's divided us. It separated those of us with AIDS and those of us who fight for people with AIDS from the rest of the population. Two and a half years ago, I read a Life Magazine editorial on AIDS, which said it's time to pay attention to this disease now because it's beginning to strike the rest of us. It was as if I wasn't the one holding the magazine in my hand. Since then, nothing has changed to alter the perception that AIDS is not happening to the real people in this country. It's not happening to us in this country, it's happening to them in this country, to the disposable populations of fags and junkies who deserve what they get. Not only are we going to the FDA, we're going inside the yeah. 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 No, we, fight, we don't get violent, but we still sure don't know how to be silent. is living through a war which is happening only to those people who are in the trenches. Every time a shell explodes, you look around and you discover that you've lost more of your friends. But nobody else notices. It isn't happening to them. They're walking the streets as though we weren't living through some sort of a hideous nightmare. Knock, knock, knock. Can you...
Reagan and Bush did nothing at all. History will recall Reagan and Bush did nothing at all. History will recall Reagan and Bush did nothing at all. from the fact that not enough rich, white, heterosexual men have gotten AIDS for anybody to give a shit. If I'm dying from anything, I'm dying from that moron who calls himself the President of the United States. Again, I go. We'll never be silent again. I go.